I have been obsessed with the Netflix show Bridgerton lately, but honestly, who hasn't? The Regency era drama has me glued to the screen with all the cute costumes, gossip, and of course, the steamy Duke of Hastings. Today, we'll be making teacup candles inspired by every bit of tea that Lady Whistledown spills about the Bridgertons. All right, let's get started. The first thing you're gonna need for this project is a really cute teacup. I got this from a thrift store, I think. I can't really remember, I've had it for so long. I saw it one day and I just thought it was so, so cute. Then you're going to need some candle wicks. I got these off of a kit from Amazon. This kit was awesome because it had everything you need for this project in there. I'll have that linked down below. The kit also came with some stickers to attach our wick to our teacup, but you can also use hot glue if you don't have any of these. So what I did is I took the sticker and I stuck it to the bottom of my candle wick where the metal part is. Then I took off the cover that's on the other side so that it was sticky and I pushed it down and stuck it to the middle of my teacup. The kit came with these handy dandy wick holders that are really easy to use and were the perfect size for this teacup. You can also use chopsticks or pencils or anything that you have to hold it up if you have a bigger diameter of a teacup. And one of the things that I'm most excited about for this project is that we're going to make it a hidden surprise candle. So I just grabbed a ring that I had on hand. You can do a cheap one or an expensive one, it's up to you. And we're gonna make it so that when the candle burns down, there's gonna be a surprise ring inside. It will be just like falling in love with your Duke of Hastings and getting married. So we're gonna grab some heavy duty foil and we're going to wrap our ring in that foil. We wanna make sure that that it's all covered up so no wax will get inside. You could also take a second step and wrap it in plastic wrap first and then the foil, but we wanna make sure that it has foil so that it doesn't get burnt. Once you have it wrapped up, you're just gonna place it on the inside of your teacup. You're gonna wanna hop over to your stove and grab a pot and fill it up about halfway with water. And then you're going to want to let it come to just like a slight simmer. Um, we don't want it at like a full boil because that will just make the pot go everywhere, but we want it hot enough that it will melt our wax. Then you're going to grab a heat resistant pitcher. This is also in the kit that I got off of Amazon. I'll link that down below for you guys. And you're gonna place that in your pot. Now we're going to melt the wax. I used these soy wax flakes. I got these on Amazon as well. And I put in half a pound to melt because my teacup was kind of small and one pound was gonna be too much. And then we're just gonna wait for our wax to melt. This does take a little while, so be patient. You can kind of slosh around the container and that kind of helps it move a little bit faster. But what we wanna do is we wanna wait for it to be melted so that it's clear. And we want to bring it to a heat of 185 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm just using a digital thermometer to measure how hot it is and waiting until it reaches that 185 degrees Fahrenheit. Once we hit the 185 degrees Fahrenheit, we are going to add our scent in. I used a fragrance oil that I purchased off of Amazon, and this one is butterscotch cookie dough. You can use as much or as little of the fragrance as you want. I've seen people who put in the whole bottle to really make that fragrance pop. I didn't want it to be overpowering, so I only put in a couple of drops just to give it a light fragrance. It's totally up to you. You can put as much as you want in or as little as you want in. Then you're gonna take that off the heat and let it cool down. And we want it to cool down to 135 degrees Fahrenheit. Now this is gonna take some more patience because it does take a little while for it to reach 135 degrees, but it is worth the wait because your wax is gonna look so much nicer and it's gonna be nice and smooth when your candle dries. And once we hit that 135 degrees Fahrenheit, we're gonna grab our teacup candle and we're going to pour in our wax. I poured this in and I left a little bit of room at the top so that when the candle is lit, the wet wax won't pour over the edge. 
As you can see, our foiled ring does float to the top once we put our wax in, but as the wax dries, you will see it sink to the bottom. So don't worry about it if it's floating around. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of fun accents to the candle. This is optional, but I really think that it adds something to the candle. I found these cute little purpley pink flowers outside on a walk. I just thought they were super cute and I wanted to put them in the candle because I think they add just a little bit of extra fun and it really just makes it feel like that Regency era. So you're just gonna grab your petals and just place them into the wax. Now, when I did this, I realized I hadn't waited long enough for the wax to start hardening up a bit, so some of them sunk a little bit. So I recommend waiting a little while for your wax to harden so they don't just sink and they'll float more to the top. So <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> And then I also added some loose leaf tea to the candle as well because I thought that added an extra fun accent since we're doing this in a teacup. Adding in some bits of tea would be really cute. Now it's just another waiting game where we're waiting for the wax to harden. It should harden within about an hour to two hours or so, but I recommend waiting overnight just to make sure that it's fully set and it'll be a nice smooth texture. Then once it's all dry, you're just gonna grab a pair of scissors and cut your wick down so that it's about a quarter of an inch tall. And then you can just grab a lighter or a match and you can light your teacup and you have yourself a teacup candle. And I think this turns out so, so cute. And after you've burned your teacup candle, your foil ring should be there ripe for the picking and it shouldn't be stuck in any of the wax. I recommend that you wait for your candle to burn down completely so that it's just really easy to take out. I also recommend waiting for everything to cool down, otherwise you will burn yourself, so be careful. And you just unwrap the foil and you can see your engagement ring. My foil did break a little bit, so there's a little bit of wax in there. So just make sure that you have your ring fully covered before covering it with the wax. The wax is easy to come off. You can just pick it off and it works just fine, but be careful when you're wrapping your ring. <laughs> this makes for a perfect gift and anybody who receives it is gonna be super excited to find that there is a ring inside that they can actually wear and bring around with them. I think that this candle turned out so cute. I just absolutely love how it turned out. It looks adorable with all of the flower petals inside as well as the little tea pieces. And it smells really good. It smells like butterscotch cookies and it's just really homey and nice and I'm just really super excited how this turned out. I had a little bit of wax left over and I had this empty tea tin that I was saving because it just looks really cute and I just really liked it. And so I put in some of the extra wax into here and made another candle. It smells the same. It's super cute and I absolutely love it. If you like this video, you should click right over here to check out some more nerdy home decor projects. And click right up here to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next week for another DIY project where we get crafty and nerd out.